Haley tell me to come under the cover. Why Haley tell me that? I hit hard, bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo. And y'all, today I'm back with another banger video. Y'all, today I'm gonna be telling y'all story time about the, my first gay experience. Now, I know a lot of y'all think, well, not think, a lot of y'all know I didn't do nothing with a girl until I was 18. But before that, I had a gay experience. I'm gonna tell y'all about it. It's kind of funny. Y'all, today I'm doing a taste or flavors of Louisiana mukbang. I got some fish, some uh, rice, roll, and this is dirty rice. Got some dirty rice on deck, yeah. My camera going dead, y'all, so I'm gonna try to move fast. They got the best tartar sauce in the world. They do a little Cajun something to it. They make it like, put a little Cajun feel on their tartar sauce. Bomb. I was craving fish, and I got a water, all right? So y'all, let's say the prayer and we're going to get right to it because I ain't trying to waste no time. I am hungry. God is good. God is great. And we thank him for this food. We're going to thank him in the morning, noon and night. Because God, God, God is dynamite. Amen. Amen. Game. All right, let's get it in, y'all. I'm starving. I'm going to taste this junk. This, um... I don't know what this is called. Jambalaya first. Got sausages, chicken. Mm-hmm. Get y'all a bite of that. Right quick. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is good. Y'all, when I say I didn't went to Flavor Town, all right. So y'all, my teeth kind of sore, so my liner. That's some good hot sauce. All right. So my first gay experience. I have to be like, maybe, I'm going to say, 11 years old, and I used to attend this camp called COA, right? Mm. My sister used to work there, so you know. We used to get the plug on going to camp. All that good stuff, right? So, you know how you go to camp, y'all ride the bus to camp or whatever. It was up north. And it was in Wisconsin. So, it was this girl named, what was her name? Haley, a little white girl. Her name was Haley. Yes, she was white, y'all. Nah, man, Haley was cool. Mm -hmm. We used to be kicking the bobos. Like dead ass. Just straight kicking it. Mm -hmm. Now, Haley, she was spoiled, you know what I'm saying? She used to get everything she want. At one point, I was kind of jealous of her. Or whatever, because I just felt like she always used to get everything she wants. She used to come with the new, new stuff. You know how that was when you was a kid. But anyway, so we on our way to camp or whatever. You know, we riding on the bus. And me and Haley. You know, we was we was sitting together on the bus on the way to camp. 
Now on the bus she had fell asleep like laying on me or whatever. I'm like, my friend, you know, and now before this we've been cool a long time. And she ain't never did nothing weird, never came out to wear none of that. I remember. But you know what I'm saying? We on the way to camp, she fall asleep on me. I'm like, okay. I'm on my shoulder. You know, there's really nothing too gay about that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know how I felt. I felt like I was caked up with my boo or something. You know I, mean? I thought I was on some gay shit right as soon as her head hit my shoulder. I was on some gay shit. Oh, yeah. Get my girl type shit. Just gay. But I ain't understand it at the time. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? This rice is going crazy. But anyway, check out that fish. That's good crispy fish right there. Flavors of Louisiana go crazy. So, dip it in the sauce. Mm. So, we get the camp. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. We get the cap or whatever. They dividing us up, putting us with the chaperone we gonna be with. You know what I'm saying? Why me and Haley in the same cabin? So we end up in the same cabin or whatever. You know, we doing camp shit, making arts and crafts, jumping in dirty ass water. Then at the campfire, everything we did, she stuck by me. So I say it's about day. We was at camp for like a week. I say it's about day. Maybe like day three at camp. We didn't do everything together. I mean, we kicking it. Haley stuck to my side. Haley, if you're watching, baby, hit me up if you're bad now. <laughs> I'm single. Period. But, you know what I'm saying? So, we, we kicking it hard. Haley following up behind me the whole time we at camp. Ooh. So, I say it's about day three at camp. And, you know, the, the, the camp, the camp, um, what are they called? The camp, super, not supervisors, but. The camp, uh, no, 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 I can't think. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. The the people who you know supervising us had a meeting, so they told all us stay inside, don't go outside, don't leave the cabin. So everybody agreed, like, okay, we won't. You know, they ain't far from us. They just right up the road. You could see them from my cabin. So, we sitting in the bed or whatever, and um, you know what I'm saying? Me and Haley, we cool. And I don't know what, what we was watching or something, but I don't remember, really remember, but all I remember is her telling me to come under the cover. And then my gay ass head, I'm like, oh shit. I didn't know what was about to happen. I had, I've never been exposed to sex, nothing like that as a kid. Well, except porn. But honestly, I think that was later down the line. But anyway, Haley told me to come under the cover. Why have you tell me that? I get under the cover. It's two Brussels sprouts with a brown spot looking at me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She whipped out her titties, y'all. Haley titties was out. And I don't know. 
I was just born there and knew what to do, but I start sucking them. I sure did. Like a baby's bottle pop went in on them. Right? I start doing that and you know what I'm saying? That's what happened. That was it. Nobody she didn't do nothing to me. I don't think I don't remember. But I remember. You can hear me? I can hear you the whole time when my phone started. <laughs> But I remember sucking her titties at at camp. Didn't I tell you this story, Mac? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I did. So I, that was my first day experience, y'all. At camp, 11, 12 years old, with a white girl named Haley. And y'all, her titties tasted like um, baby powder. I'm like, why her nipples taste like baby powder? You know when you was younger, you put the powder in your chest and go like that and shit so you stay fresh? She must have packed it on that day because them, them nipples tasted like nothing but baby powder. Y'all, I can still taste it right now today. That's how strong it was. <laughs> but yep, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. That was some good rice. <laughs> I can't get it out with the fork. It's pissing me off. But, yeah. That's what happened. Shout out to my subscriber who gave me this idea to tell this story. Because I kind of, I mean, I hadn't forgot about it, but, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't think to tell nobody this. I guess it was kind of entertaining to hear. But Mo Mafia, you know what I'm saying? That's what happened. I don't, I don't even know what else to say, really. That was my first day at camp. Haley, if you're watching, baby, hit me up. We can rekindle some things, you hear me? Chaperone. That's what it was called. Our chaperones. Oh, can't mess up the drip. My mafia, that's pretty much it, man. I don't know. It wasn't all that, but it was, you know, it was the truth. It was what happened. First gay experience was sucking some little white girl titties at camp, and it tasted like powder. I don't, that's it. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, my mafia. Get this video to. 5,000 likes. And if y'all get this video to 5,000 likes, I'll bring back. Alright. Y'all hear me? Alright. Alright, Mo Mafia. We finna get lit because we the shit. You know, Game. I'm not done. I know you're talking about me. You know what? Ain't nobody even talking about you. You think I'm done? Y'all, was we talking about him? Exactly, nigga. What you talking about?